to the latest episode of What Lies Beneath, where our intrepid group of adventurers continue their journey through the Underdark and navigate the perils therein and the perils within the town of Shnorris. In, in the last episode, the party investigated further what was going on, trying to find out more about what lies beneath the town. Um... But following those clues, they ended up in a confrontation with a strange creature that they chased throughout several of the lairs and eventually managed to confront, which is when Jura pulled an item out of their pocket and summoned Crystal, who turns out is an emerald dragon, and basically just finished the thing off and captured it before returning you to the bar. Where... They've explained a few things, but nothing in too great a detail for the time being. And I believe they were... The session ended with them saying, and now we must head up to meet shooters so that we can confront him and try to resolve the problems. So... You lot all good to come with me upstairs? Yeah. Um, all right. Let's do what she just has to say for himself. Exactly. I'm ready. Did we take a short rest? Um, I'll say during the time you could have had a short rest, yes. Got one single hit dice I can spend. Yay. Yeah. You've got a health potion. There we go. Yeah. Okay. If you need it. Okay, and now I'm ready. Okay. Okay. I'm going I'm... to just for ease of things, I'm just gonna grab all okay. of you and take okay. you up to the floor in question. Beam me up. So... What are we expecting to it to be? Damn it, Mabel, your name's still far too long. <laughs> just right. <covers> the <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm just loading you in. Um, Crystal. Crystal bad has. Bad ones, Shooters appears to be a bad guy of sorts. They seem to have been corrupted somehow. And um, now you're basically going to. Con we're going to confront him and try to resolve that problem. We think he's one of those um, slimy things. No, I don't. I don't think he's one. Of, I don't think he's an Oblex, but because he was still able to communicate with you by himself, suggesting that something else is in occurrence. What sort of creature would have the ability to do this to some, you know, you know someone who is a dragon? Hmm, that is the worrying thing, but <sighs> it must be some brand of ooze or slime that I've not come across in my research. But the only way to find out is to go speak with him and deal with it one way or the other. <sighs> Follow me. Some strange, some strange things in this town. I'm gonna get my pogo stick out just in case. As you arrive you near, when you might need it. As you arrive near the entrance, you find that um, the two guards have been seemingly torn to torn to pieces by something. They're in pieces, essentially. No, but they seem to be covered in a strange mixture of fungus. It was your friend, Smoosh. Fungus? That's not... What? Almost okay, like something... What type of fungus? Uh, roll me a nature check. Yes. Friend? Friend Gus. Fun, Gus. 
Yeah, I'll go ahead and sorry. <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting that I have guidance. It's the kind that apparently can rip metal. It so very lo strong. Looking at it, it almost looks like something has basically been planted inside them and rapidly grown. Ooh. Okay. Um, it might not be a fungus. It, it could also be some sort of uh, druid who's cast Possibly. a spell and then grown like rapid growth inside them. Uh, my guess. Uh, uh, I, I, I suggest we all be cautious, guys. Be I'll lead the way. There's obviously uh, someone hostile in me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go very quiet and well, I'm already quiet because I'm speaking telepathically. But I'm gonna try and just sneak in. Yeah. Stealthily. Before we go into the big room, we should look for clues. The doors are open to the big room, and you can see shooters sitting on a couch. Oh. He looks... Oh, can I? I'm not yeah. even looking that way. <laughs> he looks dazed, but seemingly nothing else appears up. But this person, yeah. Entering a, entering yeah, a crime that's, scene that, here. that's the thing. As you enter, there appears to be a drow sitting on one of the ch leaning up against the wall. Oh, oh, well. About time you lot showed up. Uh, James, I've lost control of my character. It, I'm trying to move it, it's just coming up red. Um, let me just redrag your token back on and see if that fixes it quickly. Just mm -hmm. searching the house. Honestly, might as well. <laughs> you just walk into people's houses and start going through all their rooms. Ba, ba, ba. Red again. Well, can you control it now? No, it's just coming up red. You might be it. on the wrong yeah. setting in some way. You want to get ambushed? You're like, oh, let me just check down this corridor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What if there was a well, guy hiding down here, ready to ambush us? <sighs> don't, a... don't worry, dear Midas. There is nothing down there. I've made sure of it. What did you do to shoot us? Well, I fixed him, of course. It fixed. He looks like he's broken. Is he dead? I like. I like prod him with a mage <laughs> He just sort of goes, Ugh. I go for his pockets. Doesn't appear to be much in his pockets apart from just scraps and such. Does he have any of the does he how does he control the things? Does he not have like a button or something? Seemingly not. Were you the one who spoke to me in my my mind when I was here last? No, no, that was um, the real one behind shooters, but, um... What? Wait, have we met before? I can't remember. I feel like... Do they, look, have... do they look familiar? They are a drow covered in what looked like really dirty covering from which fungus and such is growing. You have met this yeah, we have. month before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I remember uh, now, sorry. LOD hasn't. And you've got a new companion to replace some of the dead ones. Excellent. Howdy. What? So, uh, I suppose you would like me to explain myself. That's what you'd like, isn't it? That's what friends do. They explain when they come into a crime scene through exploded robots and find the leader of the city in a daze. I mean, that's also what we... villains do, but sure. Crystal looks at them and it's like, Yes, I would very much like you to explain yourself. Who are you? Well, that's simple enough. My name is Anoki. I um, I work for the Queen, and I came here to make sure that her rival didn't get his way. And thus I came and removed the influence from your dear friend Celeste here, and made sure Unfortunately, the fungus I used does have some slight negative properties, which is what has left him in a daze. I suspect he will wake up in a couple of minutes. So, why don't we all have a nice chat? What would you like to know? Oh, and also, um, once that's done, um, 
I've arranged transportation for you and your party smushed to get you across the Dark Lake without having all that needless war to travel. So what, At least get you to the shore. What do you know of what's going on here? Well, as you may be aware, I have a certain knack for the fungal arts. And That's not what I asked, but okay. Using that knowledge, I found out much here. For example, I know that there is a mysterious thing going on beneath the city, though, unfortunately, when I went to try and stop it, the entire lake had frozen over down there, so can't get through that. Supernatural ice. Right. Annoying. But... So I had to come up here, and unfortunately, not being a legal guest, uh, I had to force my way in, but I feel it's for the best. Now, as for what's going on down there, which I expect is what you're most interested in, you want to know what's going on de deep down below, right? Even if I couldn't get there to look at it myself, I at least have some information. Go on. Well, shooters here, or Celeste, as they may introduce themselves, depending, uh, has a rather innate gift for the mechanical, which I believe he may have stolen from metallic dragons, but that's another story. Um, essentially, he is using a mixture of molten metals, particularly the currencies for some reason, not quite worked that out, but each of them does have some magical properties if properly prepared, so I suspect that in order to infuse a golem with which I would assume they are going to spread their influence across the Underdark and essentially make people bow or worship their master. Well, former master, I've freed them of that nonsense now. Yeah. Because no one wants to worship nothing. How do you know all of this? I have informants everywhere, and... Let's just say, Smush, your eyes have been useful to me more than once. You've been seeing through my eyes? <laughs> of course. I had to well, keep an eye on you. And what do you know about Celeste here? Is that his real name? Yes. Now, Celeste happens to be a sapphire dragon. Ready? Oh, oh my. Another dragon? Yep. In fact, I think I have enough control to do this. Let's... Would you like to see what they really look like for a moment? Um, if they can fit in here. I don't want to break the couch. Eh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Taking you into the corner, I see. There you go. Oh that's, my god! That's what they really look like. But a few moments later, they just revert back to their... Oh. Yes. Now... Celeste and Crystal here are the founders of this little town. Together they essentially built this as a sort of base of operations to look into aberrant activity. It's what sapphire dragons like to do and they often work with emeralds like Crystal here. Because you do love your research, don't you? Crystal's just glaring. Hmm. But... Yeah, so... Essentially, using these machines and under the influence of raising taxes, Shooters has been building something, but I feel I may have been slightly too late to stop that, which is probably why it's frozen over so no one can get down there again. Okay, right. When you say spread influence... What does he intend to do? What do dragons... What does a sapphire dragon want 
Well, I mean, it's it's not it's not the sapphire dragon that's the problem. It's what it's what seeps its way into the cracks beneath the scales that wanted something and was using them like a puppet, almost. Looks like you're using them like a puppet. Well, right now. For now, but that's just a temporary side effect of the fungal spores I'm using to dr I use to drive out the ooze. Okay, so who who's really pulling the strings? Well, that's hmm. Crystal just what? glares at him. I don't think Crystal wants me to tell you, but you know what, Smush? Because I like you, I'll whisper it into your ear. And he sort of just looks at you and you hear a voice. Nothing is pulling the strings. Okay. You mean he's... like, brainless? <laughs> no, I mean that's... Following on instinct? Nope, I mean no. nothing is pulling the strings. Hold on, we've heard this before. Where did I hear this? Someone said nothing. Oh yeah, that red, the red ooze thing. They said something. Ab no, no, no. Oh my god, the vision! Ah, suddenly <laughs> Smooch has a flashback to when he was experiencing his fortune being told yep. by the uh, the geomancer. Yeah, and they said nothing. Oh, oh, hold on, bring up my note. Let me see. Said fortune from the depths, nothing will destroy Shinoris. Mm hmm. Ah. Okay, right. So, yeah, Smush is just sort of reeling back in his head as this is all coming back to him. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but to tell you more would be to spread that influence. So, unfortunately, that's as much as I can tell you. If you want to know more, that's a risk you're going to have to be willing to take yourselves. Now, are there any more questions? Oh, yeah, I have another one. Um, why are you so... Uh, what's the word? Interested in us getting to our destination? Why, why are you doing this for us? Because so you're going to get me to the, to the... Because the Queen has ordered me to. That's, that's, that's what I thought, you see. That's what kind of worries me a little bit. But you've been nothing but helpful, so I guess I can't really um, say anything bad. But yes. You know, you know about the wedding, then? Oh, yes. I'm a... Uh... Guest of honor, should you say it, and you're another. I am? Uh oh. Do I have to prepare any speech or something? No, you just need to bring your lovely little self. Okay. Um, oh my god, I got a present as well. Oh, excellent. Excellent. The sovereign and his bride to be will be most happy about that. Man, I didn't know the Sovereign was such a ladies' man. <laughs> well, perhaps you could say that the Queen is a gentleman's man. Oh. Gentleman's woman? I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the equivalent of ladies' man is if you reverse the genders. Ladies' man, woman's lady. Yeah. <laughs> man, wait, man. Anyway, so um, is he? I'm going to look over to this guy. Is he going to wake up? You said any, any minute now? Shall oh, yes. Speaking of that, that no, or... no, you lot need to stay because he owes you rewards for your helping him with his, some of the problems here. Because oh, yeah. you dealt with some of the things. So, But as for me, I'm going to depart myself. When you're ready to... Um, leave, should you wish to take my kind offer of transportation, if you go down to the third floor, you will find a small patch of mushrooms. 
simply say that Anoki has requested passage and your transportation will arrive. That is mighty convenient. Yes. It's not often I get to use such things for others of them myself, but I will leave unless anyone wants to try to stop me, looks to Crystal, who is, like, raising a hand. It's like, hmm. Now, I, I am going to say, Crystal, if you do want to stop me, which I could perf see perfectly reasonable. There's one little problem there. And what's that? Well, currently I have your friend there under my control. Who's to say what I could do with that if you don't let me leave? It's okay, Crystal. They, they're um, an acquaintance. Friend, yeah, but uh, they, they've helped us. Hmm. Oh, just get out of my sight, and if he doesn't go back to normal, I will find you, I will end you, and then I will use you as fertilizer for the flames to burn down your queen and all she holds dear. Goes, wow, that is an impressive threat. And with that, he turns into a fine mist that smells of rotten vegetation before drifting through the window and away. Well, that certainly escalated quickly. Sorry, I, I used up all the time asking my question. Crystal, does that threat include Smoosh? No, no. Not this time. I'd look down and go, you're safe this time. And it's then that Shooters begins to wake up. Before he wakes up, because this whole conversation happened, Midas just left, like, right at the start, because... Of course he did. He was yeah. Bored. So he's he started... Yeah. Through this guy. There's no guards. Yep. The big guy of the tout is out. It's free pickings. Yep. You can certainly have a look around. So he's going to try for this door here. Yep. Oh. All the and doors are... Yeah, let's go look for... This the... appears to be a tinkering room of sorts. There's tools and such. Little bits and bobs. Um, roll me an investigation check. He's going to just start investigating these rooms. Roll me an investigation check. Oh. Okay, excellent. So you find... a... A large blue crystal. Uh, so do we. She's in the room with us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this crystal looks very similar to what is in sort of the central part of the machines that have been walking about. Cool. And then he'll he'll listen out to see how far along the conversation is. Down the hallway. I'll say, while she'd been looking around, you had to root about quite a bit. I'll say, um, you can have a quick glance in the other two rooms. They just appear to be guest rooms or bedrooms. Doesn't appear to be anything too impressive in them. You can roll me a quick investigation check if you like. Sure. I'll, I'll only check these two rooms. These are the ones I was interested in. Yeah. There's nothing much in here. There's um, there's some smutty magazines next to the bed. <laughs> I'll grab <laughs> grab one of those and come walking in. But like, once I hear the conversation is coming to a close, <laughs> and I'm just like, it gets to the point where I see the woman fading away. I'm just like, <laughs> have you seen what this guy has in his bathroom? <laughs> oh my goodness! Bad dragon magazine. Uh oh. I'll go have a look. Yep. This, this appears to be a book featuring rider art. 
and I walk away very quickly. <laughs> awesome. I um before she just wakes up, I, I sort of just like place it at a random page on his lap and then take a step away. He wakes up and goes Wait, what where what? What's who, there, buddy? who the hell are all of you lot? And what are you doing in my house? Wait, Crystal, you're here. Well, I, I feel... I like uh, <laughs> uh, Wow, that's not very nice at all. I don't sound like a f that frog man. You, uh, you, uh, been, been busy? Looking down um, at the magazine. Yeah, I think you lost out. Apparently so. I mean, I must have been really going at it, like, oh my <laughs> jackhammer! My God! <laughs> so, so um, yeah, we came out a reward. Hey, a reward? A reward? What am I rewarding people for, Crystal? You should know. Uh, well, essentially, not only were you under the influence of some slimy creature which has been making you act all sorts and make most of the people here hate you. Oh, well, that's... that ain't good! No, it's not. Um, these folk have not only apparently helped with that, they've also helped deal with an oblex that was going around causing problems and discovered a conspiracy beneath the city. As such... I think that they are each deserving of one item from the Horde. Would you not agree? Ah! Ah! Oh, this sounds good. Hey, eh? From the Horde? Yes, from the Horde. Ah! Okay, but I get to pick the items. Wait. Why'd you call it the Horde? Because it's a Horde. I'm a dragon. Dragon Horde, yeah. Shoots us as a dragon, though? He I've always, always, has been. I've always been a dragon. This is why you can't wander off. You miss key information. Oh. Okay. Right. Well, um, in that case, if we're going to give you stuff from the Horde... Are, are you sure about that? I mean, we've been collecting it. Yes, I'm sure. They have done enough. And to be honest... You're more of a horde than you should be, being a dragon. But, but, I'm a... Uh, fine, fine. Follow me. We'll put the good use in, in helping the city out. Follow me. Oh, okay. Oh, and apparently someone's wrecked two of my guards. Well, I get the fun of putting that together. That's, all, that's fine. <laughs> I take one of them as my, I take one of them yes. as my reward. Oh, wait, no, nope, this way. On. This way, sorry. Um... <laughs> No. It yeah, wasn't no. me before you ask. No, of course not. You're not nearly powerful enough to wreck my things. What about the uh, um, the tin can that turns into I an assassin? Myself... Um, maybe, but I've got I've got some things in mind that might be better. It's going to take a while. Better it's a long than a tin can assassin. Yes. Um. Oh, I, I lost yours. Oh, Elida. I was um, dragging. I was helping drag a, dragging a token because she's nipped off, but the token yeah. disappeared. What? How did that token? I'm guessing her token's underneath someone else's. Yeah, they're on. They're on top of you, Midas. Yeah. Because yeah. um, so uh, he quickly stops, leans in, and goes. Hey, um, Aviate, if these guys come back later, you can let them into the secret archives. I'm giving them permissions. Oh, Jorah, are you here now? Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank going. you. I'm very happy with that, <laughs> that reward. I mean, that's not where we're going. All happy right. with that. Oh, are we going upstairs? Yep. To the next floor, where none of you have been before. Because you were told that there was nothing up here. Uh, it's the horde. Right. Um. Let me just. 
Ah, Guardian Unit 4X26 gets the golem to open the gate. It knocks in a complicated pattern on the wall and the gate rises open. All right, follow me. Um, I'll turn uh, off that knock. Now, do you want to take the short way or the long way? Um, Is the short way fun? Um, you get to see a golem. Short way is good to me. Thanks, 104. This way. Yep, there is a large bronze golem. Let me have him. Yeah, that's one of my earlier works, but they're pretty bulky. They're stronger than the other ones in terms of muscle, but... um, What's it made of? Bronze. Ah. Uh, can we slide it? No. I need him to open the gates. Can you make us a, a different one? Maybe. Maybe. Um, Fletcher, um, who is literally a Fletcher, they're kind of really convenient name. Um, they're, they can make some arrows if you like. Uh, I'll let you up here. And anyway, continuing across, uh, across. Oh, oh, let us pass. God's walk. Let's <laughs> just try those as we go along. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I it. Got so many minuses, John. I didn't mean to. Right. Mystic dragon draw oh, us. Right. Um, hey, hey, bap, bap, bap. this way. Oh, that's just a way. meeting room. Up these stairs. Drop his controls. Yep. Yeah. That was the fifth floor? Yeah, sort of. It's another bit of the tower. <laughs> All right. Here is my... Oh, yes, it's lost. Place Ella... is amazing. Ella Day is lost. <laughs> I think we lost a moss by yeah, side hey, of the glitter cliff. across. Yeah. Oh, I see glitter. Yes, this is... Um... Well, this is sort of my bedroom when I'm not feeling human. Yeah, well, no. Midas, stand yeah. here. You see it? I, I found the bathroom. I don't see it. You don't see it? No. What are you seeing? Right We're seeing... <laughs> uh, uh, I'm seeing Jim. Right yeah, I'm yeah, seeing... yeah. So tank sees it. Yeah. yeah, I'm seeing it now. Ooh. So in here, there is a large pile of gold, but... Mm, what is perhaps standing out are bits of weaponry and stuff and other forms of seemingly martial equipment. Let's find those coins. And who sleeps next to it? Oh, that's uh, me sometimes. Oh, okay. Or Crystal. Or both of us. Anyway. Wait, you two have a thing? I mean, yes. Just raise an eye at Crystal. Uh, raise eyebrow. Bristol shooting. didn't follow. Oh, oh I, 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 I didn't. I, I need to grab. Oh, I didn't What's bring Bill. Minus, stop swimming in it. You're not Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> right now, uh, let me have a look. Right, all of you out of my treasure room. Go stand outside, and I will pass out stuff to you. I'm going to give you each some gold. I'm sure, you'd like that. But Go. then I'll pick out some stuff. So I attempt to very sneakily move a small gem with my foot as I'm walking. He looks at you and goes, "Fine, you can have that gem. I was, I uh, was I, gonna I, give it to you anyway." I look at the guy. It was accidental. Sorry about that. Well, that was yeah, it's coincidence because that's the gem I was gonna give you. Oh, I'll bend down and pick it up then. Yep. So you have been given. A small, you know what I'm just saying. Let me just get my thing. Yep. Do, 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 do. You have been given a hmm, a s small sapphire. Now, now, um, that is what is known as a dragon touch sapphire. Wow! Is it because you just picked it up? No, it's because it's been slumbering in my hoard. Oh. So. That 
e um in fact where's the where's the end for it meh, meh, meh. he has a look round and finds a small like scepter and hands it to you if you put the thing in the end of this scepter it works like a spell focus oh yeah a changeling touch him yes whilst you have it function whilst you have it um it will essentially enable you to react a bit quicker in combat. It gives you advantage on initiative rolls. Oh, that's huge. But the most impressive thing about it is over time, as you grow, so will it. So eventually, it will become more powerful than it is now. And awaken other abilities. For you... Hmm, you, Midas, you look like the type who likes the finer things in life. Hell yeah. Then... Uh, has a look round and finds what appears to be a gold dragon scale and hands it to you. It's a gold dragon scale with like a essentially like a sapphire in it and um, think like um, the leaves that the hobbits use to like fasten their cloaks in Lord of the Rings, something like that. Like a brooch. So Now, whilst you have this you will be much harder to scare or charm. Huh. And when it grows better, it will become even stronger, and it may even make you immune to those effects, as well as other things. But essentially, this is a scaled ornament, and it will gives you advantage on saving throws against charmed and frightened, as well as to end those conditions. And as he said, it will grow with you. Ah, so you're telling me that as I get better, it scales with me. Yes. A scaling scale. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> that's quite fitting that it's a dragon horn scales. Yep. Now, spoosh. I have a feat. I spoke to you, so I feel that you deserve something extra special. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. If you think so. I am going to give you... He passes you what looks like a dragon's horn. Oh. Is this for drinking, Yaddo? Exactly. It's even got like a sapphire as like a stopper at the end. Well, thank you. Now, this one... You can speak the command word, which, when you attune it, you'll actually get to pick, so you, you'll be the only one who knows it. And you can, and it will magically fill with ale, olive oil, a potion of healing, or a potion of climbing. Ooh, I like it potions. Only, it can only be used once a day, but as it grows, the potions you can make will be even more sh stronger. If I can ask, whose form did this belong to? Um, distant relative. Oh, that was um, that was a red dragon that I beat up once. Oh, <laughs> oh. yeah. I feel he's... a bit of warmth coming from it. He was a bit of a dick. Um, I believe once it gets stronger, you'll even be able to make it do a potion of fire breath if you really want, and you might get some other cool stuff from it as well. Who knows? But, a real dragon. Yeah, but whilst you've got it, I think you would have to work on this yourself. I've never tried it because I'm not really that gifted in the potion sort of things. If you use it for making potions with your alchemy kit, you might be able to make stuff quicker than normal. This will be very helpful. Thank you. Now, um... Elodie, Elodie, Elodie. Don't ask me how I know your names, I just do. Okay. 
Yes. I actually think that sapphire dragons do actually have psychic abilities, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I think yeah. all gems. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally one of their things. Okay. So, I could give you something precious like the others, perhaps a weapon or or something, but I don't know why. I have a feeling that that's maybe not your style. Not really. I like eggs and men. How, how would you feel about a friend instead? Yes. He's got those. <laughs> a very special friend. One which you can summon whenever you want to. Oh. Uh, sign me up. <laughs> right. Um, come here a moment. Bibble. We've got Bibble too. Yeah, I'm going to get to Bibble. Bibble, come here. Yeah, but yeah. come here, Elodie. Summoned. He he picks up a seemingly random piece of gold and places it on your forehead. Oh jeez, I just realized I had Yaz muted. Oh. As you do, you oh, hear a voice in your head. Oh, you get a new friend! Yay! I'm going to what is that? You have now gained the ability to cast the Find Familiar spell as a ritual without using any material components. But when you cast the spell in this way, your familiar will take the form of a pseudo-dragon. I get my own dragon. <gasps> Additionally, when you take the attack action on your turn, you can forgo one of your own attacks to allow your pseudo-dragon familiar to make one at attack of its own with its reaction. Yes. So, you've gained one of the Draconic Gifts. And now for Bibble. What the hell have I got for a Bibble? Um, uh, the Scaled Ornament would work, but I've already given one of you that. Uh, and you've already got a cool weapon. Uh, I've got to have something in here, just a moment. He goes looking through his piles of stuff. No, you're not a... M you're not a monk. That's in the other universe. Um, what? Other universe? Oh, don't worry. I, I sometimes see into alternate realities, and one of them, for some reason, Bibble's a monk rather than a paladin. Who am Multiverse I? confirmed. Indeed. Who am I in the oh. other universe? Um. Well, you actually didn't turn up. Instead, they have <laughs> a different paladin. You're probably... They're, you're probably the equivalent of their paladin. Actually, no, Elodie's the equivalent of their paladin because they're looking for someone. Which means that you must be the equivalent of their the cleric. You're the equivalent of their cleric. That's a total parallel. <laughs> Smush, you're probably the equivalent of their Bard. I thought he was going to say Barbarian. <laughs> and unfortunately, they don't have a Jura. Oh. Jura and can be anyone, though. They're a very small group. There's only one of me, it's fine. Right, um. Right, um. Me, me, me. I still don't know what to give a Bibble. Uh, it's um, okay. Bibble didn't uh, do anything really anyway, so it's okay. Bibble's like, I got... He he sort of looks at Bibble and just flicks his armor, and now it's... I'm just going to say it's now... Does something, but Bibble will have to work it out later. Yeah, but... Elodie. Plus one armor. <laughs> Elodie, roll me a d4. What is that? That's a D6, <laughs> not a D4. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong dice. D3. Okay. I modded out my dice. <laughs> so, dice, like, on, Cyberpunk. 
on the back of your hand, there is now the mark of a stylized dragon's eye, representing the gift you have been given. I got a cool tattoo. Yep. Um. Oh, I know what I can give Bibble. That's what Bibble can do. Bibble, I give you the tongue of the dragon. So now Bibble can speak Draconic and can make his voice audible up to 300 feet away and has advantage on persuasion checks. For a second, I thought you were going to make out with him. Nah. Oh, God. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> right. Well, um, also, each of you will, if you look in your pockets, you will find a hundred gold pieces. Oh. Yay. And then, uh, what's this? A piece of paper that says I or you one level? Where did this come let from? Me, let me look at that paper a moment. You know, <laughs> you know, I think... It's minus on there. I, I get the feeling that your powers are being suppressed by Shinoris, and once you leave, you'll be able to grow again. <laughs> okay. Wait, don't you control Shinoris so you're suppressing us? Exactly. I'm being suppressed. <laughs> being suppressed. Now, um, if uh, you, run. I mean, if you guys want to uh, rest up, you're more than welcome to rest here. There's a guest room with four beds next door. Is yeah. sleeping next to a horde um, do anything? They uh, might do. do. You might have special dreams. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Gold, gold, gold dream. Where, where are you going to be sleeping? I'm going to be sleeping in my bed. Ah. Where's Crystal going to be sleeping? <laughs> I don't know. Depends how she feels. But yes, your room is this one over here. So if if you mix sapphire and emerald together, what do you get? Like it sounds like the start of a joke, um, but I'm gonna say a really smart blacksmith. You get a okay, whatever. dragon type material. <laughs> Get pebbles. I have, I have Fruit been, loop. I have been thinking of making my own cereal brand. That, that's another story. Anyway, <laughs> pebble. Um, you'll have to sleep on the sofa. I don't have enough room. Um, well, I'm always <laughs> drawing the short straw. Yep. And now you guys can have the benefits of a long rest. I mean, surely Bibble could. Sleep on the fourth bed and smooth sleep in Jorah's pocket full of dirt. I mean, it's a good point. The new coat I've got does have very deep pockets. Yeah. Does, like, does... does it, it has really a smooth need, pocket. Yeah, does, does Smoosh really need a whole bed to himself? <laughs> I'm already asleep. He's earned it. <laughs> he probably takes up a Getting corner comfy. of it. Yeah, real comfy. Yeah. He's like the cat that can sit at the bottom corner. <laughs> Oh, I'll pick Smoosh up and put him in the pocket. <laughs> Come on, Bibble. You deserved it. You yeah. didn't turn up late to the battle this time. <laughs> yeah! I was just very not good at hitting things, but that's beside the point. Now, as you descend into sleep, Midas, your dreams are filled with gold, as to be expected. Yeah! And there is gold everywhere. You have a literal lake that you can somehow swim through as if it was water. You mean like the liquid gold I saw down underneath? Perhaps. But it's not melting you. You can just swim through it. I was going to say, it doesn't go like melt like 5,000 degrees or something? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's very hot. Even less yeah. than that. 500? Yeah. My own lake. Ah. Elodie, for some reason, um, the memories of that um, dirty magazine are for some reason putting into your head thoughts of your brother. You're not what? sure why. What? <laughs> they were why? 
<laughs> because Elias was a trader. But she doesn't know that. For a little while. <laughs> I dried at one point. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's it's like a. a I think a like centaur, a centaur, but, but with a spider at the bottom instead. Yeah, yeah, he got turned into like a half spider, half person. Yeah. But for it some reason. Glorious. You see that fade into the mist, and you can hear beautiful music playing, soothing you, and seemingly telling you, you won't find him down here, but you might find clues as to where he has gone. That seems to be what the music is telling you. Smoosh! You, for some reason, find yourself in a human wedding. Except, for some reason, you are the bouquet. Ooh! Being carried down the aisle couple. by the bride. You are. Your cap is, for some reason, multiple colours, with little other caps sprouting out of it in different colours. Beautiful. Cap of caps. It won't be used anywhere. Or you and can then, on James's game. I tried to do it as well. On what? What were you trying oh, to do? Oh. I'm not muted. Oops. Uh, Yaz is trying <laughs> to change the icons on her pictures. And we can't do it on this. We can only do it on Chris's games. So, oh, why were you trying to change that? Do you have new art? To be sleeping, you mean? Like this? Yeah. But... Yes, you are carried down the aisle, but again, as you approach, the figure you're in seems to grow in proportions to perhaps eight feet tall. And the groom standing out at the end blossoms and grows into a massive mushroom, bigger than perhaps even Shinoris itself, which you know to be the sovereign of your people, because the sovereign is huge. Yeah, so run to big boy. And as you are approaching, there are people on either side, but whilst they look familiar, they also look unfamiliar. There is something off about each of them. Oh, oh. Can I tell what that is? That's something up? Or... Roll me a nature check. Okay. And what is this flashing? I don't know. What up the flash? I don't know what's causing that. Can't sleep. You cannot tell. Just something oh. seems to be off. Uh -oh. Oh, this is a strange dream. But look, at least I look beautiful in this dream. Yes. Apparently, <laughs> you are indeed beautiful. <laughs> what a but beautiful wedding. <laughs> Jura, your dream, you once again find yourself walking towards that strange palace that you once met your patron in, but you can't seem to actually approach it. It seems no matter how much you walk, no matter how much you run, it always stays the same distance away, or perhaps it even gets further away as you try to get closer. But yeah. you hear a voice saying, well, you messed up one group's plans and helped another. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I guess I'll have to check that with the boss, see if that counts. And then you all wake up. Mm. Oh, well, that was a good sleep. They smooth in the pocket. Yep, you wake up, not in the bed you're in, but in Jorah's pocket. But the people stole my bed. Goose, <laughs> you're about to. You're about two foot tall. Let him have a bed. His name's too big. 
<laughs> you know, that better. Larger Yay. longer names are usually a sign of, uh, you know, royalty. They are in some also, cultures. And also, I think um, to change Elodie's token as well, so we can see Elodie's name and health would be good. Oh, really? It's not set up for that. Let me... Um... Yeah. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, God. The flashing <laughs> light again. I don't know what that is. I it's like cast that. dancing lights. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, okay. All right. Would you uh, like to have any discussions before you leave the tower? Morning, everyone. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's only been, yeah, let, let's let's have a little sit down talk. Right, yeah, so uh what the hell happened last night? That was crazy, right? Was so many dragons and then the mushroom person. I don't know if we trust them or not, but they seem to be helping us. But that's kind of why I don't trust them, you know what I mean? Okay. They don't like have a reason to help us, but yeah, I don't care. Should we just go to this wedding then? I mean, worst case, you know, we go, she goes south, we bolt. Yeah. S -s -s Smoosh, as you're perhaps looking over your um, ingredients to prepare your spells for the day, you find a piece of mushroom cap that you don't recognize. Oh. Looking okay. at it, there is a note written on it. In the secret okay. language of the Mykonids. <laughs> okay. I'll um, put the spore in my ear or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, there is a spore on it, essentially. Yeah. Like a new piece. Ah, uh, um, sorry about this. I actually forgot to give you something before I departed. Time wasn't exactly in my favour. Um, so th don't lose this mushroom cap. It's your ticket um, for your group. Once you are, if you do take my transportation that I arranged, um, if you use this, you can hand it to. A lovely pair of goblins by the name of Yuck Yuck and Spiderbait, and they shall take you on a lovely journey to um, get to where you need to go. Oh. Okay, all right. Interesting. Muck Muck. Muck yuck. looking for Muck Muck. Yuck Yuck and Spiderbait. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait. Have I heard of Spiderbait before? Maybe. Hmm. No. No, I haven't. Am I? I was looking yeah. at the Conclave of the Enlightened. Yep. No, no they're not. Um, yeah. But they'll take you on a shortcut, which will cut us for a good few days' journey time. Oh, okay. Useful. All right. Yeah. I'll take the little rake on out and... Yeah. Um, and start preparing my spells. Yeah. I yeah. also would like to go buy some dirt. <laughs> yeah, with the as, 100 gold I just got. Yeah, as you're um, getting ready to leave, you do hear the sounds of a snoring dragon from <laughs> the big room. Okay, just the single dragon? Seemingly just the single. Okay. He looks like he didn't get any tonight with Crystal. Or maybe right, he's um, just worn out and she went to her own room. Who knows? But you no. wish to go to the magic shop to buy some... You wish to go buy some dirt. Yeah, I'm just going to pick up some rich soil. Yeah, so I'll just... Oh. Yeah, I'll just say you can do that without yeah. needing to transport. You can get 100 gold if that's what you want. I Did wish you... Have... Yep, yeah, Midas? I wish to mess with the dragon. Yeah. I want to re I want to rearrange all his furniture while he's asleep. 
How much gold um, did you say we found again, uh, James? Hundred gold each. Oh, got it. Um, you can roll me a stealth check, Midas, with disadvantage because you're trying to move furniture while someone's sleeping. Guidance. How did you disadvantage now? Oh, well. Well. Oh. Thirteen. Okay. Even those should be disadvantage. You, you don't beat their passive perception, That's but I right. will roll to see if um, you literally couldn't pass. <laughs> they have I a just... plus thirteen. <laughs> I, just, I just pick up this chair and I'm just about to place it like right next to him. The dragon's eye, an eye. <laughs> yeah, just sort of looks at you and goes. What are you doing at this time of the morning? I... Were, you, were you trying to sneak past and get to my gold? I'm on the opposite side of the room. Why would I... That's like the opposite of what I would be doing if I was trying to get you gold. Well, maybe you're trying to trick me into thinking that that side of the room is where the treasure is rather than the other side of the room. So if I woke up and saw, I'd go the wrong way. No, I'm confused. Good. You, just, you just hear a call from the privy. He's not that intelligent. <laughs> well, I just wanted to have a little fun. When well, Bibble hasn't you... woke up, yeah, Bibble wakes up and just. I will let go down. To sleep. He, yeah, Bibble. Bibble's just Bibble. apparently still asleep. <laughs> you just all pretend to be asleep. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll catch up. I'll catch up. Okay. Oh, you do oh, that. Really? I'll put the Lego down on at the bottom of his bed. <laughs> yep, just you need to go down you. the stairs if you want to leave. But... Uh, I'll just I'll just thank um I forgot his name. Celeste in currently this form. Celeste, yes. I'll just thank him for the scepter. Uh, no worries, no worries now. Um it'll grow eventually, um don't try to rush it. You know how these things are. If you try to rush it, uh, it might grow, but it will be premature and won't grow as well. Yep. Again, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to sleep and I'll... Alright. Mm. And Midas has just found a bunch of barrels. <laughs> um... I'm exploring the lovely map. Okay. I was going to go back and buy uh, another scroll. <laughs> yeah, let's um, go do that. We'll get another couple of scrolls. I need, to, oh, I need to use... I need loads of gold, guys. I'm not going to lie. I need so much gold. I need to copy these scrolls down into my S5 book. Right, it's a shame it's I don't have any gold. And I, I used up the scroll of a movable object, like a dummy, and I should have spent the gold to... At least, at least you have the friends can trip. Yeah. <laughs> What's in here? Uh, that is, oh, appears to be the winch mechanism for raising the drawbridge. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, what's over here? A oh, large no. barracks. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. What's down? What's in this room? Barrels. Is there anything in them? Rum in investigation check. Like, like, like a small bottle of rum. <laughs> or small uh, investigation. Rum. Oh, guidance as well. Got this. Oh, more barrels. 19. That most of the barrels appear to be empty, but you find a small keg of dragonfire whiskey. I do. Oh. Jura. Oh, Jura. How oh, small is small? Um, well, it's small for a dragon. Um, for you, it's probably... Um, what's the barrel size? A firkin, I think, is the right size. I think that's the barrel size in question. I have a loop. Oh, it's locked. Way. Oh, what's going on? 
Bridge bow. No, I can't. Oh, okay, 30, no. uh, uh, so 30 litres or 8 gallons. Uh, yeah, I'll just go, there, go, yeah. go for a pin instead. So 4 gallons. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up and yep. stroll out with it under my arm. Yep. Do, 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 do. Where did you find? Oh, you found that locked door. I can't remember why that one's locked. Why is that? I'll, just, locked? I'll just walk past and keep it's going. It's just locked. The two guards. Now that everyone has left, Pop and Bibble assume their places. Is it um, I'll nod at the guards as I walk past. Thank you. Nod. And before anyone else, I'm just going to keep moving. Yep. The Fletcher just calls out. Do any of you need any arrows or bolts or anything? Uh, cool bolts? Like, um, have a like couple. Balls? What sort are you looking? Cool. What sort are you looking for at Fletcher's house of fletching? I don't know. Just anything um, special. Magic bolts. Bolts with weird effects. We need some climbing pins. Oh, I do have some climbing arrows. Oh, that's cool. Right. Or climbing bolts, depending on whether you use a crossbow or a bow. What do they do? Essentially, think of them as fireable pittons. You can launch them from a distance and basically, you know, start building up your pitton supply for helping you climb. I. They could be useful, guys. I will take a couple of those only because I've tried firing into walls with my arrows and they tend to fall out. Yeah, oh, these ones. Found... Are... I just found ten pittons in my bag. Yep. <laughs> well, if you give me though, let me let me look at my price list a moment. Um, an announcement came through that I don't have to charge people the stupid taxes anymore. So, oh, uh... oh my god, yay! Yep. So, um. If you want the ones that um, ha come with rope attached, so no, it's can... all right. I can attach my own rope. Okay, um, then they are a gold a piece. Ah. Oh. Damn, if only we had some gold. You have a hundred gold. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he said that. I didn't know by the dragon. Really? I don't remember. No, I checked my pockets and they were still empty. I we also... I also... Gold. Wait, sorry, that's a... Gold per five, sorry. Do you take? Oh. Do, you, do you take? And he pulls out a squash decomposing head of a gymnastic. Oh my god! Do you take heads? No. Do you take tails? <laughs> no. But as these are climbing arrows, if you've got pittons to trade, I'll trade pittons of equal value. Do I have any pittons? Yeah, I'll 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 trade some pittons. Yeah, um, a pitton is five copper a piece normally, so oh, yep. ten would be five silver, I think. So, yep, you need twenty pittons for one for five arrows. <laughs> Smush said they had pittons as well, so I do have pittons. Are you serious? Just pay the man one gold and you can get uh, all the things you want. It's so stingy. Fine, I'll give him. I'm sure I'll make more gold. A single gold, I guess. Yeah. We also really? have some. Look to lift. We have some arrows specifically designed for setting on fire. We have some blinding arrows, some smoke arrows. Smoke arrows? And some arrows that work 
that are particularly good if you're above water and trying to shoot something underneath. Also got some hammerhead arrows and some broadheaded arrows. What are these smoke arrows? Are they like a, like a smoke screen? They have a small clay head. Um, on hit, they release smoke in a 10-foot sphere, heavily obscuring vision in that area. They sound really useful. Last for about... Um, 60 seconds. That's... That's really good. <laughs> I don't use a bow and arrow or crossbow, but... I would pick those up if I were you. What are they? Smoke arrows. And, and Sorry, I was I was busy editing my character sheet. Um, and they make us... They, they release a 10-foot heavily obscured area for a minute. And they are how much? Three gold for five. Not bad either. <laughs> I'll buy 20 of them. Yeah. I'll... We also do have a couple of magical ones, if those are more to your take. Those are a bit more pricey, though. Are they like plus one arrows? No. Oh. What's magic we have, about them? We have mage fire arrows that magically ignite once fired. We have mm -hmm. explosive arrows which um, explode on impact. Ice arrows, acid arrows, thunderclap arrows. And how, oh. how much are those? Uh, those are 50 gold for five. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit much. Yeah, they're kind of hard to make. The ingredient's pretty rare. But, which um, which sounds the most interesting? I do also highly recommend the hammerhead and broadhead arrows. The, the what? The hammerheads um, do a little bit less damage, but if you hit them really well, aka a crit, they'll be stunned until the start of your next turn. Okay. The broadheads. Um... Well, I was going to quickly ask. Normally, with like magical arrows, once they're used, they're used. Are these yeah. arrows though that you could retrieve? Um, the explosive ones, no. No, of course. The fire like the one, broadhead, and broadhead the bro ones, and the hammerhead the, ones. The broadheads and the hammerheads aren't magical, so you could no. retrieve them. Potentially, okay. Um, the broad heads on a critical hit, they also do, they, the hammer heads also deal bludgeoning rather than um, piercing damage, and the broad heads deal slashing damage instead of piercing. Um, the broad heads on a critical hit apply a bleeding effect, which causes them to take 1d4 damage at the end of their next turn, unless it uses its bonus action to hold the wound closed. Okay. Not too shabby. And then, of it's course, you've got the cork. And then you've got the cork screws, where if someone's underwater and you fire at them, your arrows will somehow act as if they're not going through water. AK, they'll negate the yeah. underwater combat bonus. Yeah. So what, what cool. do, what's the radius on the explosion arrows? The explosion arrows? Um, uh, it's a 10-foot radius. And it does. How, how damaging is it? Two D ten. Oh, that's not bad. That's but it's really fifty good. gold for five. Always um, nice to have a little bit of AOE. Would you like? like that's the only thing you don't have. Would you like me to explain some of the other arrows that we've got? Um, no, I'm. I think um, I've heard enough. I will take. What is it? I fifty gold for five. Five explosive arrows, yeah. Um, and what about the broad, the the stun ones? Are they the broad ones or the broad heads? Mm -hmm. um, two gold and five silver for twenty. Those the hammerhead ones you wanted, if the ones the ones that crit on a stun. Yeah. I uh, they do a little down, bit less damage. So I put down two gemstones with fifty gold each. 
they take the, they take the fifth so what are you buying exactly? Are you buying two lots of the explosive arrows? I'm or buying, are you expecting change? I'm, I'm buying one set of the explosive arrows and I'll buy 20 of the hammerhead ones. Okay, and so you need oh god, maths uh, 47 gold and 5 silver and change. Really? Yeah, because you said two lot. You gave me two fifty gold gems. Yeah. The explosive arrows are fifty gold. The broadheads are two gold, five silver, for twenty. So you would get oh, forty. Oh, twenty. Okay. Yeah. Because basically, they just have a special effect on it, Brett, and they do bludgeoning instead. Um, oh, I'll just buy an extra four explosive arrows then. Yeah, why not? Because the, <laughs> no, uh, the ten each, ten gold each, and the yeah. Uh, so yeah, that those that buttons. that's um the hammerhead arrows. Uh, Covenant Fletcher. Then you've got those the explosive arrows. Uh, you can make them as bolts, right? Yeah, they're bolts. Okay. Yeah. Um. Do you want the smoke arrows? Did you say you were going to get the smoke arrows as well? Oh, yeah. That crap. was me. Okay. Yeah, I've, got, want... I've got an order as well. Yeah, if you want the smoke arrows, that is those. Yeah. Uh, it's three gold for five of those. Yeah, so that's that's the order I want to get. Okay. Um, okay, let me just work that out. So that's... 50 GP for the explosives, the 10 smoke would be 6, the 20 broadhead would be another 2, okay, so that all together that's 61 gold. Yep. Um, they do so. say if you're interested rather than, um, let's say the explosive arrows, um, for the same price, you could also get um, the ice arrows, which um, s slow them down and give disadvantage on deck saves. The acid arrows, which um, give them disadvantage on con saves and uh, reduction to their AC. Or the thunderclap arrows, which um, ha does thunder damage instead, slightly less than the fire ones, but also has the chance to knock the target prone. Ooh. They're expensive though. Those were all the fifth yeah. those were all fifty gold. So that it just giving you the option instead of your five explosives. I'll drop the five explosive. Because yeah. Midas has got those. Oh, don't drop them. <laughs> and I'll get the thunderclap instead. Okay, so the thunderclap is that. LED, I don't know if you use a bow or anything. Do you want to buy any arrows? I do not use a bow, so it's... Uh... Okay. Um, have it as Bibble. Bibble at this point, because you've been shot, and catches up and hands smoosh back the let go. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, did I get you? Yes. My foot hurts. <laughs> and I'm gonna roll a sleight of hand check for him to see if what he does works. What's your passive perception? I don't know, surely. Um yeah, it's eleven. Yeah. <laughs> you see him trying to put a small um bit of paper on the top of your cap. Wait, what? what does it say? Then I say, kick me. <laughs> no, it says, it says, flick me. No. <laughs> I try That's and. Uh, has Bibble got like fins? Um, sort of. He's got like webbed hands. Okay. Yeah, nice. I'll. Uh, 
I'll try and mage hand it, mage vine it round. Put it on the back of his head. Okay, um. Roll me. Yeah, I guess. He sees through that and manages to block it and instead attempts to change roll sleight of hand again. What? Just back and forth. <laughs> and sticks it to the back of Elodie instead and goes, shh. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> the broadheads, that... what do they do, James? Don't touch me. <laughs> the, the broad. <laughs> you don't notice them. <laughs> do it. So the broadheads um, do one less damage. So rather than a 1d8, they do a 1d6. But on a critical hit, they apply a bleeding effect. It'll be fun. Just giving you options to play with, really. Plus, you know, yeah. on occasion, you might need a... I have no idea how an arrow slashes. I can work out in my head how a bludgeoning arrow works. Yeah, but not I think the slashing arrow is good as well. I think they're yeah. better than those ones. Yeah, well, he's you're, got you're on average doing less damage, but sometimes yeah. getting a little bit. They it's... they give you a special big quiver to be able to hold the forty arrows, and you notice that each of the arrows um, has like they explain. Um, has like basically braille on it so you can basically grab them by touch from the quiver so what did you call oh. the, blood, the bludgeoning ones the bludgeoning ones are hammerheads okay um i'm also gonna go by another scroll right um i will as is there anything else you want to do on this floor? If not, I'll take you down to the floor below. Yeah, it's just what the. These? I just need to buy the same scroll I bought last time. Oh, is it locked? Unfortunately, that doesn't stop my long. <laughs> Who knows? You can try a slap hand if you really want. Why is this one locked but the rest aren't? This got another golem behind it. Nope. No. <laughs> All right, I give up. <laughs> Uh, have you not got any lockpicks? He tried. It wasn't good enough. Yeah, but so, have you actually got lockpicks? They yeah, do. Lock picks. You're supposed. To, you should use those instead because you'll get proficiency plus. Oh, what's that? Yeah, still wouldn't be enough. How do you want to click on my lockpicks? Oh, there it is. Thieves tool. You've got two thieves tools, right? What's the difference between the two? Nothing. You've just got two sets. Oh. It, the difference is... Nothing, actually. Why the hell is your sleight of hand better? It's because you've got expertise in it, haven't you? I don't know. What's the difference? Yeah, you've got expertise. So, funnily enough, you're better at just Picking using your finger than you are using <laughs> Thieves' tools. Yeah, I'll be using my fingers with the Thieves' tools. Sure. <laughs> right now, um, obviously, the scroll shop is on this floor, which I brought you down to. Yeah. Um, but okay. Jora, I believe you wanted to go speak to the archivist. Yes, I just wanted to have a look now. I've got access to that sort of stuff. Yeah. So Bibble will stay with you. Um, the magic shop's a bit further down if you want to buy scrolls, Smush. You need to speak to the wizard. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just going to buy the same one I bought last time. I forget how much gold it is, though. Which one were um, you buying? The immovable object. Uh, let me have a look at my same magical items list. And now there's no tax. Is that what? Yes. Exactly. It is a hung immovable objects level two, right? Or is it level one? Yeah. Find out. Pretty sure it's level two. It's level two. That's 120 gold pieces, but he has been authorized to give you a 
10% discount, it'll be a... No, I'll say a 20% discount, it'll be... Ding. That's 24, uh, 96 gold. Turning customer. Um, I'm going to hand him one of the black paws. Yep, and he hands you back four gold in return. And, okay, I think that's me. Although, actually, I'm going to need more soil. <laughs> I'm going to spend my other two pearls On and soil. buy... Yeah, like 200 gold worth of soil. Yeah, again. that's fine. I need so much of it. Why do you need so much soil? Because well, the soil is what he uses for his spells. Yeah. And it's also food. Dare I. Right. Dare I do it again. No, my hands. Come on. Come on. Get. <laughs> We're only in and out. That's it. Done. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Right, now while you were going down there, I will quickly deal with Chora going into Aviate's library. Yep. Ah, welcome back, Chora. I've been authorized to allow you into um, Crystal's secret archive. Crystal ones. Yes, they are the um, more scholarly of the pair of leaders. Let me... Um, he walks over to this shelf and begins to seemingly just pull out random books, just tilting them slightly. And a then this shelf here rotates round. No, actually sinks down in the floor and another one rises up in its place. Yep. Now that's mostly um, information on extra planar things, mostly aberrations, but there might be something of what you require. I believe last time you were looking into some figure, I believe, someone you were trying to find out more about. Yes, that's correct. So just a quick one, James. I've got marks around my character as if I'm being targeted by a spell. Like triangle either side. Dude, yeah, that's, that's you. you. That's you targeting yourself. Alt click yourself or double right click yourself. No, it's not removing it. Oh, I... Not with the double right click? Nope. Yeah, it's Probably definitely really you up. because... There you're... we go. Sorry. Yeah. Idiot. Right. I hold it. Oh, that works. Sorry. Don't forget, just double right click, not double left click. Even double right click's not working for that. Okay, that's fine. That's, it, sometimes it works for me. Yeah, that's how it works. So, you were looking for um, information. Roll me an investigation check. See if the information you are looking for is on here. I'm going to use my uh, DM inspiration for this as well. Okay. That's an advantage, is it not? Yeah, that it is. And I keep forgetting I've got to click a certain way and do that. It's shift, so, and I'm guessing you're going to guide into yourself. Yeah. Okay, so one thing you do notice is there are there are a couple of missing books from the shelf. Mm -hmm. Like, definitely empty space. Everything else looks quite packed in, so you'd assume that something is meant to be there, but isn't. Okay. Um, but looking through, you find a book. Uh, let me just check something. Do, 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 do. Labeled. Mm. Second, the Argent Palace that catches your eye. Okay, I'll pull it out and open it. So, as you pull it out and look on the front cover, you see a depiction of a palace. You can't see it in total, like, because obviously it's just a picture, but for some reason it gives you the impression that there are 66 ivory towers 
on this palace, and it looks very familiar to the palace that you were approaching. So let's see. Yes. I will ask um, him names. This is Aviate. Aviate. I will ask him this palace. What do you know of it? Ah. Uh. That is the palace, or at least the believed palace, or known as the Argent Palace. It is in the city of Zalatar, and is located in an area of the Abyss known as the Triple Realm. Um, connect, those are all connected by the River of Salt, um, and it is the personal resting place ruling place of one of the demonic princes do you know which yes I believe that would be hmm, what's the name again the lord of forbidden pleasures the, the dark the shadow king grasped oh. have you pronounced that Honestly, I mean, Cam will like this name because it has a bit of apostrophe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, Doesn't start with K, though. Present. Yes. It's a rather odd place. The 47th layer, which is... Um, yeah. Glows under the light of a blue sun. And heat and cold have an unusual relationship there. Fire burns blue and purple, and cold magic instead becomes hot. Mm. It's a very strange place. I'm going to ask him if he has like, ink and paper I can use quickly. Oh, certainly. Yes, um, he hands you some that. Yep. I'm going to draw the person I saw in my dream. Yes. Or attempt like a rough sketch of him or, or features things like that I noticed. So how, how well do I do on the drawing? Uh, roll me a sleight of hand check. I'll guide it as well. It's a pretty damn good drawing. Ah, yes, that is a common depiction of the Shadow King himself. What gives you interest in such a fiend? With that, I will raise up both my... I'll raise up my hands, showing the sick finger on each. Ah, interesting. This never used to be like this. Hmm. I, without going into details, had things happen that I wished to change, I wish didn't happen. And next thing I know, I can cast magic, I can, you know, my features have been changed. No matter what form I take, they say. Unusual, but not unheard of. It's believed that those who have some sort of tie to Grazit can um, sometimes manifest these features. Though, you'll mostly find just rumours and such about... Um, things there. Few have travelled to the Abyss and returned alive. And it is a very dangerous place at most times. Um, of course. Yes. Well, I'll keep looking through this book, sort of just referencing things, passing in general. Uh, taking notes, because I'm, I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to keep the book, so... No. Um, you do find some information, probably, um... You learn of a place... You learn 
that the city of um, uh, what is it? Let me just make sure. Um, it's weirdly, um, oddly, a place that is um, quite friendly to merchants. Right. Um, those who look for magical secrets or perverse forms of entertainment. Um, but those who do do trade there are likely to not um, get as much out of it as they'd like due to high exit fees. Right. But... In order to get to um, Zelatar, you would have to pass through the Viper Forest of Zrintor, supposedly, if you were to be traveling through non-magical means to get there. Okay. It's a very that. dangerous place. Yeah. yeah, I was waiting for that. Where the trees themselves seem to be a mixture of reptile, demon, etc., and try to kill anyone who enters. Oh, fun times then. Yes. Uh, um. Well, yes, the forty-six flare is quite odd as well because it glows and projects light and shadows into the sky, and the sky itself was dark and turns grey at night. It's very weird. At least so say the rumours in the book. Mm. Hmm. It's... It seems like I'm... we're missing a couple of books. I did notice that. I was going to uh, say this to you. Huh. Ah, the books on... them. Interesting. Well... Them? Yes, I can't speak about them, unfortunately. That's not allowed for um, particular reasons. But, huh. Yes, it seems that the two books on Shadakla are missing. Shadakla? Yeah, it's the 222nd layer of the Abyss. Hmm. What resides there? Um, quite a lot of things. It's, um... It's a... There are essentially two layers to this layer, but they're not separate layers. It's very strange. Um... At least from memory um, but it is very dangerous you will mostly find things of that rot and decay there oozes, slimes, fungus things like that Ublex? yes you'd probably find those Hmm. And this is one of the books that are missing. That's both of the books. They were on the two rulers of that plane. And you can't say their names for some reason. Yes, to speak of them is to draw their gaze. To think of them too much is to draw their gaze. Fair enough. I thank you for... Thank you for the warning. Yes. But... <sighs> I'm just trying to think if there's anything I can tell you. I mean, I'll just keep sort of reading through this book, sort of yeah. trying to take that, like, cross-referencing notes. They simply say that in one of them... Nothing spreads through Shedakla but the rot consumes even nothing oh 
That's an interesting phrase. Hmm. Can I any spells? Yes. Mm, well, I can't do that. Okay, then. That's a very interesting phrase. I'll sort of scribble that down on this or on the paper. As I'm just sort of any information about Bill Grizzly and you know, mm. what he, you know what he's like and yeah, you know, things like that. I'll uh, I'll note down and that is fair enough. What's this been going on? Um, can I have started copying some scrolls? Yeah, I'll say you can start with that. Six hours. Yeah, you're gonna need time, but mm -hmm. up against this little chair. And if we're not leaving straight away, maybe I can get a whole one done. Let's see. It depends how much of a rush the magic. is in. I'll, I'll just say the first, I'll just do a quick one, like a detect magic. Any first level? Yeah. So it'll take, um, what? Two hours, I believe. Yeah. Unless okay. it's your school. Which um, I don't believe that one is. No. Saved. Hmm. Oh, wait, I've been here. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I'm going to need to make an arcana check. Yeah, make me an arcana check. Um, uh, you while you're around here, do you mind just, uh, putting your hand on top of my head? <laughs> just to guide me whilst I'm copying yeah. down some smells? Yeah, I will. Guidance. Yay. Okay. Oh, nice. Tasty. Okay. What else I can do? Mm. I'm muted. I was going to say, can I try and bolster you as well? You have a way oh, to sorry. do so. Uh, uh, which one is it now? Oh, can I only use it oh, on my side? No, no, no. We're good. I made it. Yeah. Yeah. DC 10 for that one, I think. Yeah. Or 11. You're fine. Good yeah. job for the guidance, yeah. Ten plus spells level, yeah. DC eleven. Guidance did it though. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I got the take magic. Da -da. Yeah, it's taken a while, but my Jura's been reading this book. Um, whilst that's going on, is there anything you'd like to be doing, LED? Um, I would like to be doing some sort of that. There are books in here on music, if you're interested. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll um, browse the shelves for musical books. So you can what what sort of music would you be looking for? Typical kind of folky music. Okay, there is... Um, the Anthems of Loth. No, the Laments of Loth. Um, which appears to be drow folk music. Oh, well, that's like um, a new sort of culture um, for me, being obviously from the... Uh, not Underdark. <laughs> yeah, there's also Kicking It With The Coup. 
There's also kicking it with the Kua Toa, which appears to be um, uh, Bibble's people's music. Kicking it with the Kua Toa. <laughs> yeah, I, I think looking at like both of those kind of things would be like quite advantageous for yeah. a show to get a feel for the kind of music. Yeah. The underbar. I feel like the other book should have been called Living La Vida Lolf. <laughs> That's not really their style. <laughs> <laughs> there is also Delving Deep with the Dwarga, but that doesn't appear to be a musical book. That just appears to be more of like a historical thing, but there may be some reference to their music in there. Yeah, I think I'll go for the, the Bibble about music so I can get that yeah. standard. Yeah, so you can um, study those. Roll me, I'm going to set a performance check to see how well you can take this information in from a musical perspective. Wow. Um, you seem to have perhaps the almost... Perhaps due to the life you've led and such, the book on the um, the drow music seems to resonate with you in some way to the point that perhaps like the sadness of the so-called lamentations of Lolf seems to almost be reflecting your own mood, perhaps at you know being in the underdark, potentially dying. All sorts of stuff happening, not finding your brother despite coming down here so far. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, but all the, But the kicking with the Kua Toa, which appears to be more upbeat, um, Zonacy seems a really strange book, and you probably glance at Bibble a few times as you're sort of <laughs> reading this because you cannot picture this music and Bibble in the same <laughs> sort of image. Um, perhaps brings to mind the sort of good feelings of being part of a group that are um, trying to help each other and you've been successful. So they're sort of reflecting your emotions from different places. Yeah, so they're two totally different sort of books. Yeah. The feeling of them. Yeah. Um, excuse me, but can I just come into my place and look around without even oh, saying hello? Yeah, he uh, does there. That, that was just, that was me as a player. I was, there's black spots on the map and I'm trying to uncover them. <laughs> they just come in and just be like, please buy something, you prick. Wait, what, what were you selling? Where? I'm, a, I'm, no, I'm a blacksmith. Oh. I'm a smith anyway. Wait, there's two blacksmiths that live here? Yeah. There's the fiery one downstairs, you know, and then one everyone expects to be good at this sort of thing, then there's me. I'm going to be honest, I, I don't know what you can do for me. <laughs> 